So this is the problem. I hope you are able to see. Uh, a DC stunt generator delivers 45 ampere at uh, terminal voltage of 220 volt. Armature resistance and field resistance was provided. And it is sent connected. So the connection of uh, armature sent are RF. And this would be our terminal voltage. Since it is a generator, so supply would be provided from the armature and it would get dispersed in two directions. One would correspond to line that would lead to your output and one component would be flux component. So here also two components you are able to see. Uh, one is flux component, field component, d-axis component. Another is the power uh, component that is, you know, your line current due to VT and IL. So we need to calculate the percentage efficiency. So efficiency we know P out by P in into 100%. So this is our efficiency figure. Now, uh, we know that terminal voltage is VT. If you calculate IL, then we will know that what is our uh, output power. And this 45 ampere is given. It is delivering at terminal only. So IL is 45 given. So we know output power, right? PO is equal to VT and IL. So VT, IL. That so is... 89.79 percent 89.79 percent i guess it is not the answer but anyway let us see uh, into 45 and it will come out to be 220 into 45 that is 9.9 .9 okay so this is output output was a straightforward now we want to move towards input and it is generator so input would be output plus losses and total losses would be copper losses uh, which which losses will present in this circuit can anybody identify one loss is given a stray loss that is 375 watt any other loss copper loss. copper loss would be there in which component which component would be there field, field component and uh, i right correct perfect so uh, one would be ia square array and one would be if square array so a stray loss plus ia square array plus if square rf so we did not calculate if yet so if would be a straightforward vt by rf vt is given rf is also given 44 ampere it would be 220 by 44 and it would come out to be 5 ampere so stray was 375 plus ia is IA will be sum of IF plus IL. So IA is IF plus IL. Once you draw the circuit, it will be very easy to identify all the component of armature field or line. It doesn't matter. So it would be 5 plus 45. That would be 50 ampere. And here uh, IA would be 50 square into RA was 0 0.01 ohm plus uh, IF was 5 square into RF 44. So if we add all the losses, since no iron losses or mechanical losses was given, so we will ignore that and I will add it 50 square into 0 0.01. It would come out to be uh, 25 
and it would come out to be 25 into 44 that is 1100 so you can see a significant loss copper loss is happening in field component so and in armature resistance since it was very small so negligible amount so uh, total losses if i add it can be 11 and 4 1500 i guess 1500 watt is total losses and uh, if you see and see now i will write output by 9.9 .9 kilowatt again output plus losses 9.9 .9 plus 1.5 and let me see 9.9 .9 divided by 9.9 .9 plus 1.5 it would come out to be 86.8 percent into 100 86.8 percent 